Bristol City and Aberdeen have reached a verbal agreement about the sale of Ross McCrory and it looks like it looks like a big spicy three million pound in there. Three million pounds, over two millions the initial fee, and then extra add-ons that will take it up to three million pound. What I think of this deal I like to think of it like ordering a takeaway, you know, you get your like pizza or whatever and that's your main course and that's the big bulk of your, your payment but then you like to get the little add-ons, you want the wedges, you want your chicken strippers, you want the dips and that is what Bristol City have done with Aberdeen. Aberdeen's look, he's worth this but then we want that, we want that, we want side deals, we want a side order. So Aberdeen, I think if they get near 3 million, that is a pretty good deal but enough about talks about takeaway and no crap analogies welcome back guys to fog Vipper. and it is done ross mccrory will be a bristol city player as long as he and bristol city the club can come to an arrangement on a wage on a contract because aberdeen have accepted this bid aberdeen are happy to let him go for the price tag that bristol city are willing to pay and i actually think this is a pretty good uh, deal for aberdeen now, I'm pretty sure that Ross McCrory only has, what, two, is it two or three years left on his contract? I believe it's two. Two years left on his contract. I think, let's be real, Scottish teams don't really get big money for players unless they are, like, top tier, unless they have showed, like, really good signs in Scotland. And in my opinion, Ross McCrory hasn't done that. I think he's been a good player for Aberdeen. He's been a really solid player for Aberdeen. Decent captain as well, but... I don't personally think Ross McCrory has, you know, hit the heights of other players that we've seen in Scotland leave for a few million pounds. So Calvin Ramsey, Lewis Ferguson, John McGinn, the Mc big one, McKenna. I'm naming Aberdeen ones. I think that's a bit more relevant. Yeah, so I mean, I, I think Ross McCrory definitely is a decent player and could go for a decent amount, but I would be surprised if when you add on the add-ons, it is £3 million. But I mean, that's what Bristol City are willing to pay, and I guess they need it. Uh, going to the English Championship, <sighs> unfortunately, as much as we dislike it, it is considered an upgrade on the Scottish Premiership. Probably unless you play for one of the old firm. Then going to the championship is an upgrade. Aye, but he's he's the captain, right? He's the guy that's supposed to take Aberdeen into these European guaranteed group stage fit, but captain. He's, he's thrown it away to go to Bristol. Well, so we'll say he's thrown it away. Aberdeen have accepted it. Yeah, they're kicking him out. They're like, we want the fucking money. <laughs> Pack your bags. And fucking I'm not. Go, I'm not going to hold this against Aberdeen. I'd, ra I'd rather hold that against him because I feel like three million for this guy's way worth it. I think he's not all that good, personally. I feel like he's like an average defender in yep. the Scottish Premiership. We know that at his time at Aberdeen, he has transitioned quite a bit to being a right-back, and Aberdeen have brought in Nicky Devlin from Livingston, so it looks like they already had this replacement in mind. It's like they banked on the fact that they would be selling Ross McCrory this season, well, in my opinion. That just sums up, though. You get rid of a guy for three million, and you bring a guy in for free. Yeah, you know, so it's a good, it's, I guess it's good business for Aberdeen, so we can't, and that's what they need to do. Clubs like that in Scotland, they, they, they need to get players in for either free or cheap, and then and then sell them for big money. Too many times we've seen clubs let players run down their contract, and uh, you know, it, it's, you, you can't you can't do business that way. And you look at Hearts and John Souter. I mean, terrible, terrible way to do business. John Souter, Scotland International. If he was signed to a long-term contract, you, you could, you know, you could bargain and, and you could demand millions. But unfortunately, you know, they had he had six months left. Rangers gave a, a pretty poor offer, in my opinion. But I don't see why Rangers would give any more. And you know, they had to accept it. So yeah, that's what you need to do. You need to get rid of the players while well, they've got. You know, time on the contract. And speaking of Rangers, they will be due a percentage of this deal. I'd say it's about 15, 10. 15, 10. So, I mean, we could be looking at Rangers, could be getting a couple hundred thousand here, which is, I mean, it's good for Rangers. Yeah. And I guess that takes more money away for Aberdeen. So, Aberdeen all of a sudden are losing money here. They're losing McCrory. They're losing their sell on fee. Maybe, maybe Aberdeen are coming out worse here in this little um, transfer. But you know what? I actually, all, all round, I think it's good. If they're getting near 3 million with add ons, Let's say they give Rangers 200,000 or whatever. If Aberdeen, after this transfer said and done, if, if they can come away with about 2.5 million and get Nicky Devlin in from Livingston, who I think is pretty decent on a free, in my opinion, that's really good business for Aberdeen. And I'd give this like transfer for Aberdeen, I'd give this like a. I'd give it a B. I think it's like a B. Plus. I'd give it a B. B? Aye. B. Anyway. I can't remember. How much did they sign him for? You got fucked to that in. 
I believe it was like 600,000. Was it that much? I think it was, I. Uh, Jesus Christ, I well, don't think well, it was. Well, for Rangers to get a sell on fee, it had to be something decent. It's not like. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, guys, how much. My, my rating's just been doing a wee bit. Yeah, I think you've got to factor that in. I don't know, I can't remember how much it was, but it, it had to be a decent bit. Rangers to sell to Aberdeen. I thought it, I thought it was 200,000, but. Well, 200, like, I mean, it's good profit, I guess, but you think of it. So take the 200,000 off that you paid for it, and then the fact you're going to have to give Rangers 300,000, so, so your so potential free, like you said, becomes like two and a half. So, so fair enough, we'll take that. If it was 600,000, and then Rangers could be. Rangers, so Rangers are really getting almost a million pounds for a player that would never have been in their team. Exactly. So not bad for Rangers, not bad for Aberdeen and, and Bristol City are getting a decent player, guys. There you go, that's what you need to know. Bristol City have now got a new player. Well, if well, he accepts it, if he accepts it, might want to have you know, the story in Ballymore. Does this affect any potential international duties with Scotland? Do you think this helps his Scotland career, hinders his Scotland career? I mean, he's not. I would say hinders, right? You know why? I feel like in the Championship you'll get lost in the pack. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like when you're playing with more Robert, spotlight on you. Yeah, you got. I think you can impress more. I think like Aberdeen, you know, he, he could have the U, uh, group stage European football. You could have a, a Scottish Cup win. You obviously the big games against the old firm are televised. I, and then also like European football this season. So I would imagine Aberdeen are on TV more than Bristol City. Although I think England do have a, a new TV ship deal that's going to see like so many more English Championship, League One, and League Two games televised. So yeah. We'll find it though, we'll uh, find it. We'll find it. Anyway guys, close to being done. The, the clubs have agreed, it's just whether Ross McCrory and Bristol City agree. Anyway, we're going to agree to end it right here, right now. Catch you in the next one. Peace.